What's up, Geeks? LGV here, and today we are playing Minecraft. I don't know how much of this I will do because Minecraft is such a big game and there's so much to do. And, well, not much variety in what to do, but there's so much you can build, so much you can make, so much you can look for, so much to explore. Every world is different, and I, I, I don't know how much of it I'm going to do. Uh, but we'll see what happens when we get there. For now, let's get right into this and play some Minecraft. Right now, I am making a new world. Uh, let's just name this World of Eldritch. Now we're gonna play in survival mode, and let's let's start us off with um. Let's, let's uh, is there? Any, yep. Up. Oh, yep. Let's let's give us a a bonus chest. And what's this? Super flat. Default. Let's just do default. And let's let's get let's get into this. I mean, I'm excited. I've been planning on doing this for a while and just haven't gotten around to it. Minecraft has been sitting on my computer. I haven't been playing it at all. I've actually never played Minecraft on the computer. I've always played it on the Xbox. So this may be a different experience for me. Uh, but I do know quite a bit about Minecraft and I've built a lot in creative mode. So um, I don't know if you have any questions on how to build and things like that. Let me know and maybe one of these days I'll even do tutorials on how to build some stuff in creative mode if that's your thing but for this series with let's just let's just play in survival i mean it could be fun why not so let's get into it stop talking and well let's not talk stop talking but let's let's get into the play this game reason i want to play minecraft is because i personally love minecraft and i know that a lot of people like like watching minecraft videos on youtube so Oh man, we've got a lot of pigs around here. Whoa, it's like Pig Central. I shall name you Herbert. You are now Herbert. You're all Herberts. We got, where's our bonus chest? There's our bonus chest. Let's take the torches as well. Uh, oh. Okay, so we got a right click. Uh, can't we just... Okay, so we just gotta drag them. We got X, so let's put that there. Apple, we're gonna want Apple, so. Um, got a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, I don't know why they didn't stack these. Just stacked them. Now I'm thinking about it, I'm not stacking them either. <laughs> Alright. Might as well just put these in here too. Alright, let's actually let's, let's take the chest as well. Oh man. I am I'm wondering if this is controller compatible because this is kind of hard to do with a mouse and keyboard. Alright, so it's shift is to slow down. Oh man, that's weird controls to run. Uh, before nightfall hits, let's go ahead and build a house. We need to we need to get more wood than what we've got. I just broke my legs. Uh, where's where's oak? Let's just use oak. Seems actually funner on the computer, just because I mean, not funner, I should say, but. Funner is not even a word. It's um, really the graphics are different. I mean, not necessarily different, but I don't know. They just feel they just feel a lot smoother on a computer. There we go. That's where we need to go. Right here. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and collect some wood. Oh shit! I fell. Hope I can get out. Oh, that was close. Oh man, that kind of scared me. <clears throat> so it looks like on the computer. I don't know if it's like an update or something, but on the computer, he you automatically jump when you get to an edge. Or like, 
up right here, I jumped. And when I'm running, like right here, I, I jump. If it's like a big, big one, I jump. But it's kind of weird, like a, like a big ledge. Like earlier when I jumped over there by that water, I, I didn't press space to jump. It just like happened. Okay, so I made some uh, wood oak planks so that we can start building a little bit. Uh, let's find a place to build. So far, the computer version is a little bit differently, uh, different than the, um, it's a little bit different than the Xbox version because the Xbox version, you can open up a menu to craft, and it gives you. I don't know if there's a way to do that on here. I'm not. I'm not sure. Kind of. Kind of strange. So let's. Let's see what we could do. Four. All right. So let's just build a basic house. Okay. So we got more wood. Definitely plenty enough to fill this all the way back. Ah, no! Oh man. Another thing about creative mode is that I could get rid of these instantly. And in creative mode, this house looks so beautiful. Alright. And now we need a door. Go. Here we go. That is the front of our house so far. We need some light in here so we don't have monsters <laughs> spawning in here. So let's go ahead and sorry. Put some light in here. All right, you know what, guys? Screw this. We're playing on creative mode. Let's name this World of LGB Two because I'm not creative. <laughs> oh, but I am creative on creative mode. So let's create new world. I apologize for wasting the time. I'm going to edit that video to make it somewhat funny. Maybe some sort of entertainment in there. That was just not fun at all. I don't know. I'm a creative mode person. I can't help it. Every time we start a new world, we're surrounded by pigs. Herbert! Come here, Herbert! Herbert. You're my friend, Herbert. Okay, since so we're in creative mode, we could fly. Let's go ahead and look around. Perfect spot to build, right here. Okay, so let's see if we can... Okay, now we've got a whole bunch of stuff we could build with. Um, let's make our house out of... I don't even know. Whoa, what is this? Purper pillar. Purper block. Purper stairs. Interesting. Red nether brick. Looks, 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 there's some new blocks since the last time I've played. It's been a while. Uh, but let's just uh, build our house out of... Oh, where's cobblestone? No cobblestone anymore? Oh, there's cobblestone right there. Cobblestone and oak wood. Oak wood and oak wood planks. Let's see, we're going to need some... Let's have a darker... Darker... A darker ceiling or roof, however you want to say it, and let's make it. So let's make it a dark oak wood stairs. Let's see for windows, we'll use black stained glass for lighting. I'm actually going to show you a trick that you can do for lighting. We're going to use a torch, item frame. This is all new to me, guys. Sorry, uh, I'm used to console version. And I don't have no like capture card or any way of capturing things on my Xbox. So we're going to have to... Oh, wait, right here. 
slightly damaged anvil. Very damaged anvil. That's weird. All right, well, let's just use the anvil. These three, I'm going to show you how to, what we can do. But we got to build our building first. I may cut the video or speed up the video, depending on when I'm talking, when I'm not. Um, but if you'd like me to go into detail on later videos, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to cut this video not too long. I'm not, I'm not trying to make this video too long because um, it's already been kind of wasted because of my, I'm not used to survival on PC. So now we're just going to do some creative and I'll, I'll look into doing survival if that's what you guys are interested in, but I'm more of a creative, creative person, even on the console, like even though that the crafting is a lot different on the console and that's what I'm used to. Uh, and I'm not much of a survival person. I'm, I'm whenever I play, I usually play on on creative mode, and I do pretty good. I, I've made some really cool stuff. So for now, we're going to stick with what we got and build. So here we go. Uh, let's see. We're gonna want to build a base. Let's make this a room here. We got a room there. Go ahead and put a room, a bigger room. Now we got a bigger room behind it. Um, make like a closet size room down here. Oh man, I'm so I'm I'm getting used to this, guys. I'm sorry. A closet size room right there. Okay, so now with the oak wood plank, let's make the walls. They can make them um, four high. Look, 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 look a decent, decent height. So I'm just gonna go all around to do that. special yet it's just a big box right now so let's go ahead and give it a roof and the way we'll do that is actually before we do that let's let's do these what I wanted to do these with this wood for but what, what I was using this wood for is at the corners make like a pillar it just makes it kind of pop makes it makes it so it doesn't look so flat They're all facing upward. Get out of here, Herbert. Ah, here we go. And as you can see, doing that makes it pop a little bit. We're also missing windows, so let's go ahead and give it some windows as well. Looks like we've got a big, big space here for a window. Let's go ahead and put a big. Now we got windows, we got pillars, we got walls, we got doorways. Um, but we don't have any like windows. So let's go ahead and put the windows in there. 
Freeze stained glass for. So now our house has windows, and it looks like Herbert wants to stick around. <laughs> um, okay. Um, we also don't have a floor in there, I just noticed. So let's go ahead and get rid of the... I'm thinking be a spruce wood. See how that looks. Not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the floors. And now we've got a floor in our house. Um, it's still kind of bland, though, because it doesn't have a ceiling. So let's go ahead and make a ceiling. What we're going to do is we're going to be using um, these stairs and oak wood. First thing you want to do is use the oak wood to raise these up one. And then connect them. So now that they're connected, we could use these stairs. And instead of using them as stairs, they'll be shingles, basically. Oh, we want to have them from the bottom. And then just go around and connect them. For the corners, for the corners, you can actually just Right, place one and it'll automatically go around like that. You could just go around and do that. So, for example, like that. And it's the same for these corners here. They'll. It'll freaking work. If it will. Uh, it will connect. <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll connect just right. You gotta have them touching and they'll connect. So now we've got them going all the way around on those things. But you're probably thinking, what the heck? Doesn't even look like a roof. Well, that's why we did that so that we can, so that we can place the stairs right on top. Yeah, I did that. Now, we can go right around like this. Now we can go ahead and take this oak wood again and start placing it around the edge again. And as you get higher, the, sh the shorter the distance between each corner. And then just do the same thing as before. And then just to repeat this process until you finish your roof. Um, I don't like to get it to a point, personally. I like to actually get it to where it's to a certain height and then flatten it. And actually, to be honest with you, probably just one more layer of those stairs and I'll flatten it. So I'm going to click do that and then I will be right back. Now, I find it to be more aesthetically pleasing to when I'm flattening the, flattening the roof that I'd make, if I'm using this block here, the, um, the oak block to have it all facing one direction because it just seems more it just seems more clean more uh, symmetrical so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna flatten this off and I shouldn't be too long and I'll be right back and now the top of the house is flattened but we are missing a lot of light. There's probably monsters spawning inside there. So what we're going to do is we're actually, instead of putting the torch, just, just placing the torch anywhere and doing doing it that way, um, put the torch there, put the item frame behind it, 
and then on the item frame itself, put an anvil. And it looks like it's uh, some sort of holder for the tor for the torch. And I, I just think it looks really cool. Just a little trick to keep in mind. Okay, so I got my torches up, and now let's put this uh put the item frame on. Okay, now let's put the Ah Yeah, be careful not to have it on the torch but on the item frame, otherwise it'll fall. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. So you might not want to rush this because it's like a jump scare. <laughs> Especially when you're wearing headphones. Just like oh, ping ping. So yeah, now I got these on there, and let's also go to this other room and put 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 them on there because we we totally we even we even got this room right here. So let's just go ahead and put one there. Also, our walls because we did the um, ceiling that way are not complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up right here. So now all of the rooms are completely closed up. We're almost done. We just need to put on a door. Put, put doors on and then our house will be ready for somebody to move into it if they wanted to. <laughs> um, I'm not going to get into um, furniture and all that in this video. The video is already getting pretty long. So let's hurry up and just uh, put some doors on here. So let's go ahead and our front door. Let's actually put that there. And then there. So that's the inside of our house so far. Also, let's go ahead and put some stairs here so we don't have to jump into our house. Okay, so, so cobblestone, and there we go. And also, if you wanted to, we could make a little frail here. And put some cobblestone in there. Simply dig one down and like that. And there we have it. This is our house thus far. Maybe in episode two, we'll get into making the house more detailed and putting some furniture in there. But to wrap up this video, I'm going to have to end it there. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button and comment. Also, if you'd like to see more, you can hit that little red button down there that says subscribe to get first view at all my videos as they come out. Thanks for watching and peace out with your geek out.